a lot of you guys have been asking what to do to get bigger arms. So I'm gonna show you guys my favorite bicep finisher and my favorite tricep finisher. Let's get started. So we're gonna do eight reps at each weight and we're gonna go all the way down to five pounds. Pick a weight that you feel comfortable with. If I can normally call the 40s for about 12 to 15 reps, I'm gonna start there. And so I'm gonna start for the 40s. We're gonna do eight reps at each. So I'll grab it. I'm gonna do eight reps at 40 pounds. Then I go down to 35 for eight. Dropping it, so I do eight reps at each position. All the way down. And so what we're doing here, guys, this is the ultimate drop set. My muscles are under constant stress. Like I said, eight reps all the way down. And so guys, the whole point of this is hypertrophy, we're trying to get as much blood as we can in the muscle. So we're creating time under tension with this ultimate drop set. Two rounds is plenty. If you're feeling crazy, you can go all the way down and back up. What I like to do is I go all the way down, rest 90 seconds, repeat it again. Now I'm gonna show you the tricep one. So this next one, we're gonna need an easy bar and this is for our triceps. So this is gonna be three movements all put together. We're gonna start at five reps of each of them and then we go down to four reps at each, three reps, two reps, and one reps, all without rest. This is gonna be brutal. So here, first one, regular slow crusher. So we got five reps. After five reps, I'm gonna do what's called a rolling press. So skull crusher down, roll it, press straight up. So five here, roll, press up. After I do five, now I'm just doing five straight presses, so one two, three, four, and five. So that was five. We gotta go all the way down to one. So now we got four. One, two, three, four. Now the rolling press. One, two, three, and four, followed by four presses. Now we start threes. Three, roll and press for three and then three presses. You guys get the idea. So again, whenever we're trying to do a finisher, we want a lot, a lot of time under tension. We want to constantly stress that muscle and get as much blood as we can in there. And so a quick recap here, we've got skull crushers, the rolling, uh, rolling press, and the straight up press. We're gonna start at five for each of them, go down to four, three, two, and one. Two to three rounds, that'll be plenty. All right guys, so to recap, that was my favorite bicep and tricep finisher. Notice how I said finisher. You don't wanna start with those things. Just like in your regular program, you wanna start with something heavy. So if I'm doing a leg day, I probably start with heavy squats or heavy deadlifts. It's okay to start with heavy curls or heavy, heavy dips, guys. You guys can start with something heavy and progress it. I know so many people just show up to the gym and, oh, let's just hit arms today. Guys, you still gotta have a purpose to your program. So just like I do or anyone else, you guys should properly uh, plan your program. The same way goes with arms. Don't treat arms as a rest day. If you guys want bigger arms, you have to program it. And like I said, start with something heavy, six to eight reps, and the next block, take it down to 10 to 15, and then in that finisher block, do something like ride the rack or do that tricep thing. Try to stress that muscle for a minute or even longer. Like I said, drop sets are great when you're doing arms, guys, but you also can't be afraid to actually put some weight on the bar and move them. And like I said, for your biceps, if you guys really want to try to get those biceps to grow, try something like weighted chin-ups. And if you guys want something for your tri bleh, triceps to grow, try something like a close grip bench press, something really heavy, really hit those triceps hard. Exercises like that, those big compound lifts, should be something you start with. And then save the curls and the skull crushers, save that for the end of your workout. So guys, I hope you learned something today. If you're not liking it, subscribe and go ahead and do that now. And if you want more arm workouts or any type of different exercises, let me know. Just drop a comment and I'll get back to you.